Hey guys, me again for one more tutorial for the Rethink Travel Virtual Trade Show. Today I'm going to be going through how to schedule your appointments. Um, so I'm going to do both for exhibitors and buyers. They're almost identical, so I'm just going to knock both of them out. So the first thing you do is head to the Rethink Travel Virtual Trade Show platform. This should be very familiar to you by now. Um, you've set up your profile, your personal profile. Um, exhibitors have sent up their, set up their virtual booths. Um, so now you're back here to the homepage and let's talk about scheduling appointments. Um, first and foremost, for both buyers and exhibitors, you need to mark off the appointment slots that you don't want to be available for. So if you'd like to um, build in a time for a break for lunch or a phone call or to check your emails or you have a prior commitment, whatever it might be, um, you need to make sure that you edit your time slots. Right now, all of your time slots are open. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to edit those. So both exhibitors and attendees, Head over to the meetings tab here and click on edit slots. Um, as I mentioned, all the available slots are open for you right now. So for example, if you'd like to build in a break here, you just click the X button and it'll automatically block off that time. If you do this by accident or you realize that you are available at that time, just click on the slot to reopen it. All these grayed out slots right here that you click on and they don't do anything, that means there's something else happening during the trade show. So an opening session or a keynote speaker, um, something like that. So if you are, if you find yourself not able to open a block, that just means there's something else happening during the trade show or this is not during trade show hours, okay? Make sure once you um, click that you're not available during that time to press save. Okay, and you need to make sure that you do that for each of the four days for the events. Okay, always press save, save, save um, in order to um, avoid any confusion or um, errors. Okay, so that's first and foremost what you need to do um, in regards to your meeting slots. So right now I am logged in as an exhibitor. So I am exhibiting at the Emerging Destinations virtual booth and I wanna meet with attendees. So I'm gonna click the attendees tab right here. Okay, and you'll see all the attendees that are attending the show um, in this entire section right here. Okay, you can sort these attendees by A to Z. So if you know if there's someone specific that you'd like to meet with then just go directly to them, you can sort A to Z. You can also filter by people that have viewed your profile. So these attendees are obviously interested in you all um, for, some, for some reason. So you can filter that out by people who have viewed your profile. Or really cool, you can also do an advanced filter here. So if you're only wanting to meet with buyers who, for example, sell the same type of travel as you do, you can filter them out here. So here you can see that you can filter them out by designation, organization, country, um, and, and which areas of the world they're interested in selling, uh, what describes them best, so um, what they've categorized themselves as, or here, most importantly, uh, what types of travel they're interested in. So for example, if you're a dive company and you wanna obviously meet with people that are interested in diving, you just select that here. If you uh, specialize in wellness and spa and luxury, you'll click those filters here. Once you've done that, everyone that has those niche, those um, interests in their profile, they'll show up down here and you can easily uh, request a meeting with them. Okay, so these advanced filters are really a great way to um, make the most uh, productive time of the show. Now, once you find someone that you'd like to meet with, um, you'll just hover over their icon here. So as you can see, as I hover over them, I'm prompted to do something. Um, so you can either chat with them. So if you'd like a little bit more information from that attendee, go ahead and click chat. If you're ready to meet with them and put it on your calendar, just click meet. Um, and then select the day that you'd like to meet with them and then the time slot that they are available. Now, keep in mind these time slots reflect both the time slots that you don't want to meet and that the, um, the person that you're requesting the meeting with doesn't want to meet too. So there'll be no error there. Just go ahead and pick whichever, whichever slot you'd like. You can um, type a quick message and then click send. Super simple. And once you send out that meeting request, it'll show up in your meetings tab here. 
So now I've logged in as a buyer. And like I said, it's the same exact thing, um, almost identical for both buyers and exhibitors when you're requesting meetings. But as a buyer, I only want to meet with exhibitors. Okay, so you're going to click on this exhibitors tab here and you'll be able to see everyone that's exhibiting with us for the entire show. Okay, so you're welcome to do your research and read a little bit about all the exhibitors here. But once you find an exhibitor that you'd like to meet with, just hover there over their virtual booth and click meet. Okay, then you'll also just find a day and time that you um, are able to meet with them. And once you find that, you just click the um, send request button. Simple as that. I just want to mention, if you are a buyer and you're not quite ready to dedicate 30 minutes for a one-to-one -one meeting, you are able to click on the booth of interest um, for you and you can share your details. When you click share your details here, your personal profile will be um, then shared with the exhibitor. That way they can get in touch with you. Um, they see that you've shown interest in their um, their booth. You might not be ready for a full meeting, but you at least want them to reach out and you can share your details here. Even if you have a confirmed meeting, we highly, highly recommend you sharing your details here. This will allow the exhibitors to export all of their meetings and they'll be able to follow up better um, with you all. Um, again, you're still able to chat with the exhibitor here, uh, but the most important thing here is share your details. Every single booth that you visit, just drop, it's like dropping your business card. So go ahead and do that. So let's go back to that meetings tab, okay? So as an exhibitor, um, what I'm logged in as, Jesse, and I'm exhibiting at the Emerging Destinations booth, this looks the same for attendees, so don't worry, it's the same outline, same icon. Um, you'll see in the meetings tab here who has requested you, and once you have um, confirmed meetings, they'll all pop up here in this meetings tab as well. Anyhow, uh, once you get a meeting request, you can chat with that person if you'd like to get a little more information before committing to the meeting. You can cancel the meeting request if you'd like, if you've just found another time that works, for example, or if you just decided that you don't want to meet, um, you are able to decline. But if you'd like to meet that person, you simply click meet and it'll show up on your meetings um, calendar. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about, about um, a little bit more about joining the meeting. So this will be your um, main point to get into the meeting once the trade show starts and we'll talk about that a little bit later but this is just strictly for um, accepting canceling um, and uh, just managing your meeting so again all of them will pop up here um, in your uh, meetings tab um, for the rest of the agenda that'll all be here so our opening sessions our keynote speakers everything cool that we've got going on we've got it separated day by day here so when you're not attending meetings please keep this open so that you can see what else is going on throughout the platform um, lastly super super important the trade show is um, happening in eastern uh, eastern standard time so i'm currently in atlanta on eastern standard time so everything is reflecting in my time zone my computer is also set to eastern standard time zone but i just want to show you what it looks like if you are not in eastern standard time zone Okay, so this is um, just a screenshot quickly from my colleague Jenna, who is not in Eastern um, time. So here you can have everything reflect in your time zone. Um, so I believe she's two hour behind me in this, um, in this time zone here, um, or in the event time zone. If you just wanna keep everything on Eastern time, you're welcome to do that. So this will reflect this little drop down tab when you are not in Eastern time so that you can view that. Um, so just keep that in mind, okay? But that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Super, super simple for both attendees and exhibitors. Whoever you want to meet with, simply click meet. Uh, but most importantly, edit your slots uh, before the scheduling opens on May 24th of this year. Um, we're here to help and we can't wait to have you at the show.